Hi, this is Andy back at the AJ Cycle and Tri Conversion Showroom. Today I've got a couple of very special vehicles I'd like to show you and I'd like to introduce you to the owners. I want you to take a quick look at this machine. It's a beautiful GL 1800 Honda Goldwing and it is really tricked out. And I'd like to meet the owners. This is Jerry and Mary Bayman from Jasper. Come on over, guys. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Mary. Hi. I'm, uh, we're going to show, talk about the machine today, and we're going to show some of the special things about it. First, I'd like to kind of walk around a little bit, and I'd like uh, to show me some of the special features about this machine and some of the different things you put on it, because it is really a show-winning machine, and we've got some trophies to look at, too. Let's kind of take a quick look around and look at some of the things on it. One couple of things, Andy, like the, we like on the bike that I think is kind of neat and special is the uh, in handlebar lights. Uh, you don't see them too often. Uh, mm -hmm. There are a couple of bites in, that I've only seen in couple in Southern Indiana and it has them. Uh, so I think that's kind of neat on it. And uh, the two-tone seat, we kind of made up our own design on that and uh, we had the seat two-toned and uh, really stood out. That makes beautiful. the bike stand out really I've bad. not seen another bike with that type of seat on it. So that really makes it stand out. Uh, another thing that really sets the bike off uh, is the uh, rear brake lights now that they just come out with for the mm -hmm. rear spoiler. Beautiful. It is new. Uh, so we had to, we went ahead and put them on. And then uh, the infinity lights, which are here. Right. Uh, we really like them. In the nighttime, they really show up. And, uh, and you know, it's just a few things. And then, of course, chrome. You know, you can chrome and chrome. And chrome crazy. Once you start chroming, you don't, you know. Oh, yeah. That's the bad thing. Once you start, you don't know where to quit. That's right. <laughs> and you've won some so. trophies with this bike. Yes, we have. Yeah, well, Tell we got, me about uh, those trophies. Uh, we got second place in Tulsa, Oklahoma at uh, Wingding. Uh, we come in second place there. That's a big event. That's a national That's event. a national show, yes. And then uh, the other three trophies, we come in first place, and they're kind of local events, mm -hmm. local shows. Outstanding. In first place. Tell me about some of the experiences you've had on the trike and what you enjoy about riding the trike. Well, last year we went out to uh, South Dakota, mm -hmm. to Mount Rushmore, and then uh, come in down through Wyoming and then back through Kansas, which was a good ride. Oh, yeah. Beautiful weather we had. And uh, we've never been out west before, so mm -hmm. on, the, on the trike it was really a really neat ride. And then here in a few weeks we'll be heading uh, Key West, Florida on it. That sounds like a good trip. Yes, it'd be about 23 hours one way. Wow. So uh, that's going to be an um, interesting trip, us and uh, another couple is going with us, mm -hmm. friends of ours. Wow. So um, Outstanding. But, you really enjoy riding. Oh, wow. We really enjoy riding, and uh, um, I know everybody's got their preference, but ours is a trike. Yeah, uh, for safety, and uh, we had we rode two wheels for a while, and we liked it. But when we got back, it we were out of it for about five years. When we got mm -hmm. back into it, we decided to go with the trike, okay. mm -hmm. and we've enjoyed it ever since. So you, do you find you're more comfortable on the trike? Oh, we're yeah. comfortable, and the big part we feel more safer. Right, uh, safer on the trike. I, I think it give, uh, for me. I think it gives a lot of peace of mind. It just makes me a lot more at ease when we're riding a trike. Yes, yeah. and the driver's got just a little bit more flexibility of looking around a little bit. Right. You know, you don't have to keep whichever little rock in the mm -hmm. road and stuff like that. So, uh, but uh, I would like to also say on the lights, if you're you know if you're going to this many lights and stuff, you've got to have a good company to help you out. And oh yeah. I'd like to say AJ Cycle's been wonderful. Well, thank you very uh, much. Matter of fact, they've installed uh, several companies wouldn't do it, and AJ Cycle put the handlebar lights on. Um, so, uh, I mean, we those really are pretty unusual lights. I've very, I've not seen very many of those at all. So, I mean, it's good to have a, a place where you can go to if you got problems, because mm -hmm. when you go to these many lights, you're going to have problems every mm -hmm. once in a while. Yeah. You know, so, and uh, but we we believe in bringing it here. Well, I appreciate that. I, I think, and you've done an outstanding job. And you have kept this thing meticulously clean. That's part of what helps you win shows. Isn't yes, it? well, we own our own detail shop in yes. Jasper, Indiana, uh, Bayman's Auto Detailing. We detail mm -hmm. cars for a living. And uh, so uh, we're particular. Yes. We treat everybody's car like it's ours, and same way with our bike. And that's what kind of got us into chroming and lights. And we kind of keep this thing spotless. Yeah. Uh, I know when we go on trips, it gets wiped down every night. <laughs> I can <laughs> and, imagine. Uh, uh, so, but, you know, that's. Part of it. Yes, it is. Now we've got the, another machine that you own over here. I'd like to go over here and look at this. This is a Tomberlin uh, Emerge 500. It's the LE model, and it has a, a lot of custom things that you've done to this too. And interestingly enough, it's yellow. Yes. You would have thought. 
Tell me about some of the things you've done to the Tomlin to, to set it apart from, from the rest of the Tomlins. I can see a lot of different things on here that, that look pretty neat. There's one thing that on this Tomlin you will see, you won't see on no other Tomlin that I have seen mm -hmm. because it's been custom made. Right. And that's the floorboards. Yeah, and, let's uh, get a look at that. I had to have floorboards custom made by a local company. Wow. And with that, with his design, and he had to, you know, cut everything and right. fit everything. And that's one thing that, because I know Tumbling does not come out with a stainless steel floor. Right. Uh, so that Beautiful. is one thing. And then we had the seats two-toned, mm -hmm. uh, the seats. And then uh, here a while back, Kirk uh, and you talked me into the different set of wheels and tires. I went up to a different set of wheels mm -hmm. and tires uh, on the now. And then the most thing uh, that we really like is the upgraded motor. We went to an upgraded motor, and which now runs around 34, 33, 34 miles an mm -hmm. hour. And I tell you what, it made a big difference. Oh yeah, big now, you, difference. you find you've got a lot of torque for pulling the hills. Now, yes, right? I mean, going up a hill now, you can go up a hill without any problem, and I mean, it just keeps on going. Mm -hmm. You don't slow down to 10, 11 miles an hour. Right. Yeah. Uh, the big advantage of those motors is, is the pulling power in the hills. Yes, that is a real big advantage of the motors, yes. And, uh, and you've got uh, good range with it. Yes, good range, and the most important part about these uh, Tumberlands, they're street legal. Yes. You know, they're 100% they're street legal, right. 35 mile an hour on down mm -hmm. on the city streets. You can run them. All the street legal equipment is on these, because these are equipped with the windshield wipers, the brake lights, the four-wheel brakes, uh, the turn signals, the mirrors, uh, seat belts, everything that makes them street legal, these Tumberlands are equipped with. And this is one outstanding machine. Got a lot of nice features on here. It is beautiful and it is very clean. I'll compliment you on that. Very <laughs> clean. You. Not a fingerprint on it. <laughs> Thank you. And this is, uh, now you have a lot of fun with the Tomlin also, right? Yes, we, uh, well, my one grandson runs it, and but we drive it in town here, mm -hmm. you know, wherever we get a chance. And looks like the way this summer's going with fuel, we'll be running a lot more. Oh, yeah. That, that'll summer. be a lot of fun. It is totally electric and uh, you don't have to worry about stepping at gas station. Isn't that neat how the grandkids gravitate mm -hmm. to a car like that? And, and they just want to. The thing I want to point out on these here, too, uh, you can go up to uh, 30, 40 miles now before a recharge. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, that's that's pretty good on these new ones. Mm -hmm. So, the, the motor's got good power, good torque for pulling, and a good range. Yes. 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 That, that's outstanding. And these are a fun machine. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got several here in the showroom also, but I, I wanted to point out this one uh, and share with everybody what, what you can bring these up to, the levels you can, can have these timelines. They are a beautiful machine. Okay, that wraps up this segment at AJ Cycling Trike Conversions. I'd like to invite you back next time and we'll check out everything else we've got. Thanks a lot.